Great, Mr. Alford, for five minutes. Mr. Speaker, I grew up on AM radio, listening to the news, listening to Dr. Demento, the CBS Radio Mystery Theater, falling asleep at night in my bed listening to that on the weekends. Rush Limbaugh, who not too long ago sat right up there in that gallery, recognized by President Trump. I even interned for the late Larry King. I love AM radio. So I rise today to address an urgent concern that's impacting our nation's heartland and America in general, the decision by some car and truck manufacturers to eliminate, do away with AM radio from their systems, including the F-150, the Ford F-150 that's made in Clay Como near Kansas City, not too far from my district. You see, AM radio is an essential platform for conservative voices like Pete Mundo and Chris DeGaulle and listeners who rely on the truth that they hear from AM stations. Stations like KCMO, KRMS, KMMO, KOKO, KDRO, KWTO, and KSGF. AM radio is the lifeblood of information for our farmers and ranchers in particular, providing crucial updates on weather patterns, market shifts, agricultural news, it's also a vital platform for emergency information. Under the Communications Act of 1934, AM radio is there for a reason. It's there to operate in the public interest, and that's exactly what it does. You see, Mr. Speaker, farmers are the backbone of our nation's food security. Yet they operate in some of the most isolated regions, often lacking access to modern high-speed internet or digital services. Did you know, Mr. Speaker, that there are more than 4,000 AM radio stations in the United States with more than a third dedicated to agricultural programming? That is one third of the stations. That's a big number. This is not a dying medium, Mr. Speaker. It is a vibrant network that connects diverse communities across our nation. We must, we must remind our car manufacturers to consider the wider impact of their decisions Let's make sure that conservative voices are protected. Let's make sure that emergency communications are protected as well for our farmers and ranchers in particular. And let's make sure our rural communities, our farmers and ranchers, the unsung heroes of our nation remain connected, remain informed, and remain respected. Mr. Speaker, in the 1980s, I remember when MTV first came on and the little jingle, I want my MTV. Well, Mr. Speaker, it is 2023, and I want my AM radio. Thank you, I yield back.